when Gloria asked me to come today, I will admit I was a little taken aback. Um, discussing a personal experience <coughs> such as being on the receiving end of racism is a little difficult. So my first experience with it was in kindergarten when Jason came up to me and asked if he could see my tail. Because he had been told that black people have big butts because we wrap our tails around our hips to hide them. And he said his father told him that. And honestly, five-year-old me was just myth that I didn't have a tail because how cool would that have been? <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. I told him I didn't have a tail. When I related the story to my mother, she became incredibly angry. And that was when I first realized that maybe there was something wrong with that question. Um, okay, but you know, again, still want that tail, monkey bars. <laughs> Fast forward a few more years later, and the night before I'm Michaela was born, I had been having some pain because for 32 weeks everything hurts. And it was becoming unbearable, more so than usual. So, my client insisted taking me to the hospital. I arrived at the hospital, and the doctor on call was the one doctor in the practice that made it more than clear he didn't like me. He had very little respect for me. Um, at first, I thought it was because I was young and unmarried. I realized later that that wasn't the case. Um, he diagnosed me over the phone, sent me home with some medication. He never saw me. Mikkel was born the next day. Turns out I was in labor. No one stopped it. By the time I got to the hospital, um, she came maybe 10 minutes later. Uh, during the delivery, well, right after the delivery process, um, he said to me, well, I guess maybe I was wrong that you didn't have a bladder infection. And I said, well, how would you have known you didn't see me? And he said, well, I figured you were making it up for attention. But here we are, we have a baby. As he was yanking on the umbilical cord to remove the placenta. But as soon as Michael walked in, he stopped. And he had a different method for removing. Um, May 23, having your first baby, you don't know what's right. You don't know what's correct. And it wasn't until later that I had a chance to reflect um, that I was deeply pained. I was angry, um, which should have been, to me, a miraculous moment. I felt robbed. Michael was incensed. When I saw my regular doctor, I told her what happened. And she apologized for him. And she said, I wish I could tell you that it was an off day for him. But he's like that, especially with you people. So that led me to kind of pay a little bit more attention in my interactions. I've never had another one as egregious as that, to be perfectly honest with you, or if I have, I probably let it roll off my back because I don't believe in letting someone else's negativity interrupt my spirit. And I've never experienced anything like that doctor again. Um, every doctor I've had has been wonderful and understanding. But we know that there is a stigma with black women not being listened to in the medical profession. And um, I would just like to say that I truly believe it's changing now that people are aware. But I hope no one ever encounters anything like that.